In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as the Namikaze bloodline in Shindo Life Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to obtain the movesets for Minato, Naruto and Boruto. Once we've done that, we need to reach max level with each of those accounts and unlock all of the moves. And then once we've reached level 1000 with each of the accounts, we're going to be 1v1ing our arch nemesis to see who truly is stronger. Alright guys, so the first character that we're going to be doing is Minato. And as you can see right now, we have his two bloodlines. We have Senko and Minikaze. And for the elements, I've decided to go with Yin and Yang because it's kind of like a little bit different. I don't really want to go for Gale with Minato or Wind. I just wanted to do something just a slightly bit different because I barely use these two elements together. So we're going to go straight into our main village our blaze village because that's basically where minato grew up all right so we are in shindo life and the first thing that we normally do is we go and do some small missions first and then we start upgrading to the harder and harder missions and the first mission that we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking to this guy and we're going to deliver some groceries because you know what minato he's known for being like very very quick so i'm just going to do this very very quick all right that's one house done second house done and the last and final house done should get us to a decent amount of levels as we do have basically two times xp from the group i got us to level 26 not bad not too shabby at all i'm curious to see what these two modes okay this is at bloodline level 600 and this is level 400 so i don't think we're going to use the senko bloodline at all because there's literally no need for us to use it because minato's bloodline is so much better in like the mode version you know what we put some of our existing stats into our chi tie and hp so we might as well see if we can do a green scroll mission already i mean we are minato so surely we'll be able to do it very very quick and we might as well unlock a ninja tool whilst we're at it which one we're gonna unlock i think we're gonna unlock this one right here to be honest that's the only one we can unlock all right okay let me just hit him with this first start off the combo okay i don't know how that level is up so much oh it's leveling up our minikaze bloodline we've already killed one of them Okay, these guys barely have any HP. Oh my god. Basically just two hits, two combos, and they're dead. Okay, that was very, very, very easy. And with these green score missions, we're gonna get so much XP from them. Yeah, see, we've got 120,000, and that's gonna to level. Is it gonna get to level 50? Yes, okay, perfectly on the dot. Alright, so okay, on my journey, I saw a group of corrupt dune ninjas this time. Okay, we'll see how strong these guys are. Alright, let me hit them with the ninja tool. And just combo them all at the same time. Oh, they combo me at the same time too. Okay, relax, bro. Okay, let me just hit him with this. Got put in the crazy combo. Oh my god, okay. Wow, okay, they do damage. All right, I did not think they're going to be this this difficult to kill. And the last and final one. There we go. Okay, we killed them three. That was way more difficult than I expected it to be. Right, how many XP is that going to give us? Okay, another 130,000. That should get us to like level 70-ish. Okay, we got to level 69. Okay, what bloodline level does that get us to? Okay, we got to level 53 with our bloodline already. And I think we need to get to level 400 so we can actually get our bloodline mode, of course. So I am just going to grind a little bit, get to level 400 with our bloodline. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Alright guys, and just like that, we were able to unlock our mode or basically level up to get our mode. So we're just going to equip this mode here. And as you know, if you play Chindle Life, this is probably one of the best modes in the game. And we've also got mode 2 here. We need Namikaze's second form boss drop, which of course, we're gonna get and i think we need it to be level like 800 or a thousand to be able to unlock it something like that and i don't think there's only two forms to this mode and we're just gonna see just see how powerful it is by doing a green skull mission i'll just show you guys how amazing it is it's got some very very good c spec very good q spec i think i'm also gonna uh, unlock some of my elements right now we have 68,000, so i think i'm gonna unlock this one and we've officially gone broke after we can't have oh we need chief for this one we're gonna lock this one here all right there we go all right okay so now we've got like a very 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 good move set to be able to basically just kill any of the green score missions and, prob and probably some of the bosses too all right let's try out this c-spec i'm pretty sure it's a rasengan yes a rasengan move and it just time stops them into so much damage and then e-spec oh i think we don't even have an e-spec yet all right okay so we're gonna have to press the q-spec all right they're gonna hit me there we go counter move and there we go they just all just got absolutely destroyed by that that's gained us barely any levels the high level that we get is basically going to be a lot harder for us to actually level up so i think now the next best thing that we're going to have to do is try and obtain the minikaze second form we're going to try and obtain it as quick as possible because as you know once we reach level 1000 we're going to go for the kurama drop and we're going to go for the uh, i think i'm going to go for this one here once we reach level 1000 this one the five percent one and then for naruto we're going to be using the ten percent one and i'm going to travel straight to narumaki bridge so we can basically start fighting the boss straight away 
So we've joined the server and there's a bunch of people, which means there's going to be people fighting Minikaze at all times. So we're probably going to let literally there's somebody fighting Minikaze right now. So that means we can just literally like f help them out a little bit and also kind of get the boss drop at the same time. This server has been going on for a little bit too long because it's not even the 1.5 times drop rate server. So it's basically going to be a low chance of us getting our Minikaze drop. Because we're barely doing anything because these guys are going to just way more powerful than me. And we are just at very, very low level, which means they can't even kill us. Which is so good for us right now. I'm just going to hit him with some of our M1s. This is actually perfect. We don't even need to level up. We just stay here and just get the drop. We died there. And did he drop anything? He actually did. He dropped the second form. And none of these guys are going to pick it up. So I'm going to hopefully pick it up if nobody goes for it. Got five seconds. If nobody goes for the second drop, we can actually get it straight away. Oh, okay. This is, this is, this is really, really clutch. Okay, 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 okay. If I just go here, <laughs> I just like that. Okay, we literally got the Tentacion Minikaze mode straight off the bat. Oh my god, my, that look is actually insane. And we unlocked the second form straight away. We unlocked the form straight away, the second form. Oh my god, that's actually, that is actually so, so clutch. I don't even know how that was possible. But you know what? That was very, very lucky. Okay, I did not expect to get this lucky from, from just the second drop and we got it. So now I think that we've gone to Narumaki Bridge, got the second form. We're going to have to go back. Actually, I've decided we're going to go to a dungeon instead of going to Blaze because we might as well and it gives us so much XP. And now that we have second form Minikaze, we're actually going to do like a decent amount of damage. Plus, the dungeon gives us very, very, very good XP plus so much coins. So it's basically like a two in one. And we're going to go into a dungeon, try and level up. And then afterwards, of course, we're going to go and hopefully kill our guy Kodama and get his drop. So let's go into a dungeon to start it off. All right. So we have entered a dungeon and I think we're doing the Shindai Valley dungeon, which is probably one of the easier ones because all the mobs are very, very close together. And okay, this guy's got the Susano. Yep, he's got Shindai Akuma and this guy's got Kodama. So this should be very 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 easy which you can hit him with this Rasengan here okay there we go and that's at least killed one person we're doing a little bit of our damage and i think i'm going to unequip my ninja tool here there we go so we can actually use an e-spec at the same time oh the e-spec i forgot completely the e-spec is actually really really clean Let's check the q-spec because i'm pretty sure the q-spec is going to be different yep the q-spec is also different and the q-spec i'm pretty sure is the c-spec of the last mode so yeah that's actually really really clean and then we're going to hit the C-spec of this mode here. Boom, there we go. And that's also a combo. Yeah, this this whole mode is just so, so goaded. All right, we're about to reach the final wave. There's only six mobs left. And I, oh, okay, I was so close to dying there. But yeah, we're so, so, so low. But somehow we barely even died here, which is really, really good. Just going to hit him with this here. Sorry, the Minikaze bloodline is just so, so goaded. Going to hit him with this move. All right, there we go. Just going to have to keep all the way back just in case because there's already one that's dead one of our players is dead so we have to we have to not die here okay we're literally so so low but we're gonna hit them with a sin gun see how much that does okay that hits them both okay how's this not guy not dead him with this all my m1 and then him with just the e-spec this should kill him okay i'll be very surprised if it doesn't all right perfect that was way too close all right shindai akuma has spawned in and we're just gonna keep keep very very far away let them do most of the job because we basically only have 16,000 hp all right he's already basically nearly dead <laughs> like these guys are putting in a shift i'm just gonna hit him with this here to be honest the yin and yang combo is actually not bad at all i'm gonna hit him with this here there we go okay i'm gonna hit him with e hopefully it pauses time for him there we go <laughs> literally pause the mid air and hit him with the q and there we go we've killed him and I, i've done i think i've done like at least 10 15 dungeons with like various accounts and i don't think i've ever got a drop but yeah we've got 31 million xp from that so that's gonna get us to a very 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 healthy level and i think i'm gonna probably do like one or two more of these dungeons just so we can get so we can get as much xp and as many coins as possible and yeah i'll catch you guys in like two or three dungeons later all right guys three dungeons are later and we've managed to get to level 831 with basically our bloodline being maxed out we can literally unlock every single one of our moves so we've got 2.3 million so we're gonna we're a little bit short of cash but that could be easily obtainable by just doing some so we're gonna do a boss mission just to show you how overpowered all right so we're gonna go i think i'm gonna fight that guy over there i think his name is ryan akuma he's the one of the only people that don't have a susano all right pts ryan okay yep this is the guy we're going to accept the the fight and just hit him with this here we need to utilize our yin and yang moves because they're so so good 
and then hit him with this and then use my B move. Is my B move gonna hit? There we go. I forgot how clean the B move actually is. And then the V. Okay, the V move is just like a move that just basically we can teleport to him after we mark him. Okay, hit him in. Where's my single not working? I literally used my C spec. Why is it not working? Alright, a few more moves should kill him. He's very, very, very low. Okay, I think this here. Where's, where's my B. Where's my BG bomb not working? Alright, there we go. Go make him pause time. And then hit him with this here. Is that gonna kill him? Yes, it does. And that's glitched just through the map. And we've killed him. Okay, we've got 823,000. How much cash is that gonna get us? Please be enough. We need, I think, another. Okay, we need to kill him. I think, probably kill another boss. And I think I'm gonna go and kill Diosenko real quick. Alright, and we've killed Diosenko. He's also dropped something. Okay, what did you drop? Okay, he dropped Diosenko's second farm. Okay, that's not bad, you know. But, okay, we've got. We should have enough oh, for 7k, 7k apart. I think with the missions, we should be able to get enough. Yeah, we do have 1 million, which means we can unlock this move here and put it in N. Okay, I have 63k, which means we can unlock this move. We're going to put this in G and we're going to unlock this move here and put it in F. However, we need to put some of the best moves. So it's just, I think this is good. This is good. I think this is... I think this is one of the better movesets. Maybe we can unlock one of these moves later on, but we don't have enough cash. And what level are we now? Okay, level 870, which is perfect because now we are going to go to Shindai Valley and go and fight the Kurama Tail Beast so we can actually get Kurama himself. All right, so we are at Yang Gen 1, the core version. We're going to absolutely destroy this guy. Okay, let's see how much damage he does. How much damage he does this? Okay, that doesn't land. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think this is going to be quite... Okay, this is going to be kind of difficult, I can't lie, because not that many moves really hit him. Okay, that did barely any damage. Okay, yeah, this is going to be kind of difficult. Most of my moves do not work on, on a tail beast, I just realized. Alright, so I just got my main account here that we're just going to do. We're just going to help ourselves out a little bit, just a little bit, with just basically one move. I don't have any other moves. And uh, my elements are all based on like characters, so they can't really track a tail beast if that makes sense. So we're just gonna have to kill him with this account. Hopefully we get it first try, that'd be insane. It's insane, insane, insane look. Okay, we killed him. We killed him, let's go. Okay, we didn't get it, unfortunately. However, with this like strategy, we can get so much XP. I think we're gonna get to level 1000, which is really, really important. Because once we get to level 1000, we can go into the dungeons with our tail beast and just level it up super, super, super quick. So I'm just gonna try and complete as many of these as possible until we eventually get the drop, the 5% drop. And yeah, I'll catch you guys once we do. Alright guys, so just like that, we literally got it in our third Kurama kill, we've got the beast. And, okay, let's see where he is, where is he? We need 1 million coins for him though, I just realised. So that means, probably gonna have to do a dungeon to get the million coins, and then after that we can, and then after that, after we unlock him, we can do more dungeons. However, we're not even level 1000 yet, so I think I'm just gonna do one dungeon real quick that should get to like really close to level 1000 or maybe two or level 1000 plus it's gonna give us the coins that we need and then after that we can finally unlock Kurama so yeah I will just be back after we do a dungeon alright guys so we managed to get to level 1000 and managed to get to 1.3 million cash which means we can basically unlock our our thingy here, our core tail spirit, which we can unlock and equip straight away. And with us being level 1000, we're going to be getting so much XP per time we complete any of these raids, any of these dungeons. And yeah, these dungeons, we have three people here, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, I think this is one of my first times doing this type of dungeon. I'm not too sure which one this one is, but to be honest, most of them are very, very similar. Alright, so we are on our last wave, wave 8. So I'm not too sure who the boss is going to be here. Uh, okay, where's the boss spawned in here? Okay, he has, yeah, okay. Which one? Who is that? Can't even see that. Is that... Oh, it's Rengoku. It's Ryan Rengoku, okay. All right, yeah, look look how much damage... Look how much damage is being dealt to this guy. He's getting absolutely destroyed. There we go, and we've killed him. Has he dropped anything? You know, you never know. They might have dropped something. And nope, they haven't, unfortunate. But if we go here and check how much XP we got, I think that's like 26 million XP. So that's going to get us to at least level 300, 400 with our core tailed spirit, which is insane yeah look look how much it yeah, look how much the levels i think we need to do this probably like four more five more times and we'll be able 
to basically max out our tailed beast i don't want to get to level 1700 because that's more of like a naruto mode i want to just get to level 1500 which is basically the better looking mode anyways so i'm just going to keep on doing these dungeons until we do get it to level 1500 and yeah i'll catch you guys at the end so we can 1v1 obito to see who truly is stronger Right guys, so we are about to 1v1 our guy Obito and the first round I think I'm just going to be using just normal Minikaze mode and then second round form 2 and then the third round we're going to be using the Barry, not the Barry mode but like the Kurama spirit so let's see how well we do against this guy. Okay, this, this guy's going straight in with that forged Akuma and okay he's doing a decent amount of damage, we're going to hit him with this, guarantee a, oh never mind I couldn't even guarantee a combo, where's he gone? Oh, he's there. But he uses thingy. That's actually insane. Alright, we've got the counter down. Hit him with the time stop. Okay, I hit him with this. Is that going to hit? Nope, it's only a, it's a linear move. I couldn't really hit it. Okay, this guy. Uh, what do we do now? Okay. I'm not, I've not used my Senko moves yet. Let me use my Senko. Hit him with this. Time stop. Hit him with this. A free combo off. End move. End move game. Hit me with the end move. Okay, we completely missed the end move. Okay, that's not really good. Alright, he uses Genjutsu again, how he disappears, and he's back, okay, hit him with this, is he gonna, is he gonna do me a counter, oh, okay, we're gonna hit him with the time stop, and we're in his Genjutsu again, bro, it's actually really annoying, but the time stop is just too overpowered, look how many time stops we're doing against this guy, he can't do anything, hit him with this Biju bomb, and then end here, bro, okay, yeah, this is so, it's just, it's too broken, it's too broken. Okay, let me hit him with this hit from far away. Is that gonna hit? Okay, that does hit too. Oh my god, and then hit him with this too. Okay, we couldn't, it's not loaded up yet. Alright, he's using again just to again. It's time for us to load up our chi. Okay, oh, he's behind me. <laughs> he's came, okay, he came behind me. Okay, that's actually clean. Gonna hit him with this. Time stop. Okay, hit him with this move here. And Oh, I should have time stopped there. I should have used this move. And he's dead. Oh my god, we just absolutely obliterated Obito. It's 1-0. To be honest, Minato did beat him in the anime. And that was us using Form 1. And now we're going to move on to Form 2, which is probably just going to destroy him even more. Alright, the second battle begins. It's starting to rain now. Okay, straight up with this. Okay, let's try and avoid that. Okay, that did not work out. Okay, in with this. What? Oh, he uses Genjutsu to move. That Genjutsu to move is so overpowered. Oh my god. Okay, once he pops back up, he's probably going to pop back up right behind me. We're just going to have to keep on running around. Hit him with this. I could even hit him because he hits us again. Okay, right now he is up. And we're... Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting kind of destroyed here. We need to We need to fix up here. Fix up, fix up. We're, all, we're in his dimension. That actually looks so, so clean. Hit him. Hit him with my Q-Spec if it's going to work. There we go. At least we can get a guaranteed time stop. Then with the time stop, we hit him with this. And then hit him with some of this. Where is he? Where is he? We need to time stop him again. Oh my, he's using Genj. Boy, that Genj just move, bro. Shouldn't be allowed. Is, I think there is an e-spec to this, right? Yep, there is where I get my clone out. Yes, sir. Hit him with this. Okay. Oh, he's using bro, every time. Okay. Hit him with this. Okay, Obito has got some really good spec. I can't lie. I really underestimated this spec. Okay, we're going to try and dodge those moves. We can't even dodge them. Yeah, he is really, really strong. Hit him with this. We go, at least that one finally lands. And then hit him with some of the Rasengan. And then the Q-Spec again. Bro, there's like so much combo potential with Minikaze. It's crazy. Okay, he's really, really low. But we are kind of low too. Is that killing him? Okay, that's not killed him yet. Okay. Okay, no, no. He's trampling through us. Hit him with my C. Okay, we can't really do anything against this guy. Hit him with my Q-Spec. E-Spec, E. -spec. e Please. Okay. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. All right. Okay. Get this guy here. We completely didn't do anything there. All right. I'm going to hit him with this. Time stop. Hit him with some of this. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him with this. And there we go. Oh my God. 60k HP. We're clutched up. I didn't even, I didn't want to use my HP the syringe because it would have been kind of unfair. But it's 2-0 right now last round all right and the last and final round we're using our qb mode here it's gonna be a little bit different see if we can hit that move okay he's using his susano form okay okay we're gonna have to dodge that oh, i can't dodge that i'm too slow but minutes is meant to be fast okay hit him with the z spec okay there are sin shurikens okay there we go they follow him at least did a de decent amount of damage 
Him with this. Oh my god, we keep on getting put in this thing every time. Alright, him with this. Time stop. And then him with this tier. Straight into this. Bro, the combo potential on Dingy Minikaze is just crazy. Alright, okay, okay. Well, look how much damage we're doing against this guy. Oh, 130,000 damage already. Okay, he's disappeared. But it's probably going to pop up any, any place now. Is he going to pop up? Okay, he's uh, popped up literally right behind me. Hit him with the Q. There we go. That literally landed straight in. Okay, hit with this Rustin Shuriken. Okay, there we go. Oh, he does damage though. Oh my god, he does damage. But however, we're going to get him straight with this. Straight after we spawn back from the dimension. Hit him with some... Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Please, let me dodge that. Oh my god, I can't dodge these moves for some reason. We bomb Rasengan. It's going to pause time there. Perfect. Hit him with this here. Okay, how much... Every time I use that move, he just teleports me somewhere. Okay, we need to charge up our chi a little bit here. I cannot lie. Hit him with this here. And then hit him with some of this. I think his... Yep, his mods run out. So he's literally got no way he's surviving any of this. Pause time. Okay, yep. He's got no mode. And look, I can tell from his thingy. He's very, very low HP from his clothing. And one hit should kill him. He's very, very low though. I can tell. Is this going to kill him? Oh, how is he not dead yet? He's still like, he's holding on barely. Alright, that's gonna kill him 100%. Alright, so there we go. It's 3-0 to Minato. 3-0 Whitewash. Oh my god. And as we found out here, Minato is stronger than Obito. Alright guys, so now moving on to Naruto still. This is my character. The bloodlines I've decided to go for are of course, Narumaki and Narumaki Six Path. And then for the elements, we're gonna go for Gale and Gale. So we're gonna go for two Gales because I don't really wanna use wind. Now we're gonna go straight into our main village, the Blaze Village. And then of course, we're gonna move on to the Ember Village as we grow up. But before we do anything, we need to go and obtain the Kurama Spirit. Alright, so yeah, we got the Kurama Spirit right now. We just need to collect the scroll. And there we go. We've obtained the Kurama Spirit. And now we're going to go back to Blaze Village. Alright, so we are back at Blaze Village after obtaining our guy Kurama. I've also managed to get 1.1 million coins by just doing some AFK grinding real quick. So that means we can unlock Kurama straight away. As you know, Naruto got Kurama literally what, since he was born. So it does make sense to get him straight off the bat. And... We're, oh, we need to be level 500 to unlock him. I did not know that. Oh my god, okay, I did not know that. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to get to level 500 before we go and unlock Kurum, which is actually kind of annoying. I thought I was able to unlock him straight away, but that is unfortunate. So I guess we're going to start off straight away with some missions just to get as many levels as possible so we can get Kurama as quick and as fast as possible. So we're going to go straight in. So we, we know what, we're going to go straight into a green scroll, man. The first mission that Naruto did was kind of like a, a an A or S rank mission. So we're going to go straight in and do a green scroll. So we're going to go all the way over there and just absolutely obliterate those guys. All right, so I'll put a little bit of my stats in already. So I have some HP and some Taijutsu. So we can literally just destroy these guys straight off the bat. All right, so let's just destroy these guys already. Oh my God, I already killed two of them. That was, he has 120 HP. So just one hit. Just kills him, okay. <laughs> Why was that so easy? Okay, that was actually really, really easy. How much levels is that going to get us to? We're ready to level 8 and we've not even completed the mission yet. So, once we complete the mission, we're going to get a bunch of XP. Yeah, we've got 140,000, which is really, really, really good. And we might as well do a Red Star mission too, because there's literally one right in front of us. Can you deliver some mail for me? Yes, we can. And yeah, we're already at level 38 from just one mission, which is very, very good. The so delivery is complete, and with the delivery complete, we're already level 47. So, we're basically 10% there to get into level 500, so we can unlock our guy Kurama. And we are hungry right now, so we might as well do a quick pit stop on the ramen shop. Just eat real quick. So we have finished, and now we're basically full up. So we're going to do another mission. Let's see. Okay, troublemakers have been doing graffiti all over the village. Can you clean it up? I don't really want to do that. Okay, I think I'm doing another green skull mission because those ones are the ones that give us the most XP. And I can see one that's really, really far away. It's all the way over there. There's none that closer. Okay, there's none that are close, so we're gonna have to go to- Oh, never mind, there's one right there. All right, a group of rogue Nimbus assassins were spotted on the outskirts. Can you please take care of them? Yes, we can. And let's go and destroy these guys. I'm guessing now that we're level 47, the HP is gonna be way more than 120, that's for sure. All right, let's just hit him with this. Yep, they've got 4,000 HP each. Okay, this is gonna be- It's gonna be a bit challenging, I cannot lie. Okay, okay these guys are hitting with this lightning bolt. Okay, bro, relax. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna hit him with some of our M1s. Can't even rush into him. I don't know why. 
All right, okay, we've already killed two of them. We need to just kill these two here. Can I rush into this one? Yeah, there we go. At least get him with a combo. Hit him with the Q. Hope that completely missed. Someone right here just killed this person for me, so we've already got the quest complete. Oh, never mind, there's one alive. All right, let's just kill this one real quick. All right, there we go. All right, so we've killed it. Mission is complete. Oh, and our gear cell's already level 44. Can we unlock any elements? All right, okay, we can unlock this one here with 3,000. So we're gonna unlock it. Okay, so we need some chi. And right, now we've put enough chi in, so we can unlock this one. And we're still not even close to unlocking that one. So we've already got one element already. Is this at a sing gun to start off? Okay, we need 15,000 chi tier to do it. And look how, like, takes so long for us to load up our chi. All right, finally loaded up our chi. That took us so long. And let's just try this move out. So we just try it out here. Let's see if it's a Rasengan. It is, it's kind of like a throwing Rasengan. It's not really like a Rasengan Rasengan. It's not bad. <laughs> to load up Pachi again is going to take another like 10 minutes. So let's not do that. And that's actually checked. We've not checked yet how. Okay, this is level 400. I'm guessing Narumaki is also level 400. Okay, they're both level 400 that we need to unlock. So I think I'm just going to do a quick, like just a few missions just to get to level 400 with our bloodline so we can unlock. I think we're going to leave this one till the end because this is way more of an end game type of bloodline. It's a six path one. So we're going to prioritize this one here. So we're going to get to the, the Narumaki bloodline to level 400 so we can unlock the mode. And yeah, I will catch you guys once our bloodline is level 400. All right, guys. So a bunch of grinding later, we've managed to get to level 400 with our both our bloodlines. But this is the only one we're going to be using. So we're going to equip this. And we're going to have to load up our chi again. And this time, it's going to go a lot faster. But yeah, we're going to use this. And you know, Narumaki mode is a very, very good mode. I don't think it's as good as uh, the Minikaze one. However, it's still really, really good. And then mode 2, we need level 1500 for mode 2, which is so, so, so high. However, we can also unlock some of these moves here too, which we are. Uh, I think we can basically unlock every single one of these moves, except for like one. Just going to put this in Y. Unlock this one. Put this in F. Okay, do we have enough chi for this? We do. And then this one. Okay, we don't have... Oh, we need our bloodline to be level 460. So, we basically got all of our elements nearly complete. We just need one more element. So, let's actually do a green skull mission just to test this out really, really quickly. Oh, this guy just popped up a green skull mission. So, Taijutsu Masters. Okay, we're just gonna destroy all the way. It's so far away. Let me, which one moves? Okay, this is the move that makes me go very, very fast. Alright, which, which other move is like a Rasengan move? Okay, this is... Okay, so this, okay, yeah, this is like a Chidori version of the Rasengan, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is actually really, really clean. And then the Y, and then the F. Okay, so the, the two best moves, I think, is the, the this move here, the G1, and then the first one that we use, the R move. Alright, Q-Spec. Let's see what the Q-Spec is. It's like a massive two Rasengans, that's clean. The C-Spec, oh, this, oh yeah, the C-Spec is also clean. It's like a Kurama, and then, yep, it hits them, and they're not dead yet. E-Spec, okay, there's no E-Spec, of course, and hit them with this here. There we go, that kills them all. But wow, okay, that Q-Spec is really, really nice. Also, also the C-Spec is also really good, but sometimes, like, kind of difficult to aim with. And how much is that going to get us to? It's going to give us... Oh, that gave us so much XP, okay. Gave us 700,000, but that barely leveled us up. <laughs> we're at level 299. So, the way that I usually level up, as you see from the Minotaur one, we're going to be doing a dungeon really, really quickly, so we can get to level 500, so we can finally unlock our Kurama Spirit. So, I am just going to go to a dungeon right now, and yeah, I'll catch you guys once I'm at a dungeon. We are in a dungeon, and it's medium. It's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's see how well we do against just the medium dungeon, I guess. Because I'm barely going to do damage. Like, my damage is going to be very, very low. Get him with that sing gun. Here we go. At least we're killing some of them. It's going to be, oh my god, alright. Him with the Q. Oh, I, I can't even use my Q. Okay, this guy's got the worm spirit, so yeah, he, this, these guys are going to be very, very good. The only thing that's going to mess me up is if my MD runs out. If my MD runs out, it's going to be very, very, very annoying because I'm going to have like 30,000 HP. I'm going to get destroyed straight away. Look at the damage balance. We're actually doing like a decent amount. Oh, I accidentally went for the wrong person. I think the best move for me is definitely the C-spec because just the hits a lot of people at the same time. All right, my MD ran out and I think I'm just going to get insta-killed because I don't have any HP. I have 9,000 HP left. I'm just going to have to run around. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna have to run around with the Marasin gun. I don't know why these guys are following me so, so much. Can this just land from there? Oh no, it only goes in a straight path. Look how many people there are here. Are they all go for me? They both died. My two teammates died, oh my god. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to clutch up here then. I don't know how I'm gonna clutch up, but I'm going to try to clutch up. Oh, never mind, we couldn't, okay. We died. Alright, that's... I don't know why we do medium, man. Every time I do medium dungeon, I always somehow fail it. I think we're just gonna try and do an easy one and see what happens. And I'll catch you guys once 
we are at basically the end the wave the last wave all right with one mob left we can finally go to the boss okay okay we need to actually focus up here i think i was about to die there okay let me just hit him with this little single is this gonna kill him oh there we go all right perfect <laughs> however this is the final boss and i'm very 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 low so i'm, I'm basically just one shot so this guy here is gonna have to carry to be honest i've not actually died once at all in this dungeon which is actually really really good very we're gonna have to lock in because the shinda akuma boss is no joke i think i'm gonna die here i'm gonna die probably okay i'm just gonna hit him with this i'm just gonna no 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 not, not my single move not my single move Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm so, so low. I cannot afford to die here at all. Right, okay, now I think we're gonna go to full HP, which means we can actually finally go and help out. And with this, there we go. Alright, yeah, we can help out finally. Hit him with this. I did not mean to use that a single move because only does 7,000 damage. Alright, okay, hit him with the C spec. I think he's dead now, which is... Okay, that's actually good because if, if my teammate died there, I don't think I would have been able to clutch up. There was no way... And there we go, he's dead. To be honest, I don't think he even drops anything, nope. However, we did get like 30 million XP from that, which should get us level 500, so we can finally unlock our our thingy here, our Gen 1 Tailed Spirit. I don't think, for some reason, the dungeon barely gives me any cash now. It used to give me so much, but yeah, I think now we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get to 500, 100%. There's no way we don't. All right, yep, and how much levels is that gonna get us to? We should get to level 500, surely. Okay, yeah, we will be able to, which is perfect. And we can finally unlock this. I don't know why it should have just been level 1, man. I could have unlocked it straight away. And unlock, and we're gonna equip. We're gonna actually do a green skull mission with just this. This should have been the first part of the video, but unfortunately, we couldn't unlock it. But look at our cloak. It looks so, so cool. But when once we upgrade it more, it's gonna look even better and better each time. And yeah, look at us, man. We look amazing. And let's see if we can kill these guys straight away. I'm actually not... I'm not quite sure what the Z-Spec is. Okay, the Z-Spec is the same as normal. And then the Q... Key spec just them screaming. We have to be very, very close to them to, for it to register. But then we can just hit them with the Rasengan. That doesn't even kill them. Wow. Okay, this move should kill them. Oh, it doesn't kill this guy here. I'm just gonna hit him with some M1s. Wow. Okay, this guy. This guy's putting in a shift. Okay, hit him with the Z spec. There we go. All right, perfect. And that should get us to a good amount of levels. It's gonna level us up a lot from this here. I think. How much levels is that gonna get us on the Cosperit? Okay, it got us to 37,000, not bad at all. Not compared to the dungeon that gives us like 30 million or something every time we do it. Now our next main goal is to basically unlock these moves here and also these moves here. These moves, these moves here are so, so good, especially for PvP, are amazing. And then also these moves are not bad at all. They're going to cost us 5 million altogether, so that is going to be a lot. So I think we're going to have to get back into grinding. And the best way to do it is probably... I'd say, I don't know about dungeons, I think now we're just gonna have to do some missions or maybe some AFK grinding later on. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of some green scroll missions. So yeah, I'll catch you guys once we finish the training arc. Alright guys, so a bunch of grinding later and we were able to get 6 million Rayo coins, which means we can basically unlock all of these moves here. We're going to start off with these ones here, of course. We're going to unlock VB, okay, VBN, and we're going to keep these for later, of course, because we're not max level yet. So I want to keep that until we're max level, and we've managed to get our spirit to level 700, not 700, to level 400. So yeah, we're kind of lacking in the spirit department, but we're gonna, we're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna get it to max level very, very soon. We can get it to form 2, I think, is that the max? Oh, we can get it to actually form 3, the max. Okay, we can only get it to form 3, but to be honest, a few dungeons, by a few, like 5, 6 dungeons should be able to get it max level once we reach level 1000. But we're gonna go and try and find a Grease Core mission so we can test out our 3 new moves. 
then after that thing we're gonna do a bunch of dungeons i think i'm just gonna do the bunch of dungeons off camera to get us to max level i think i'll do like five or six to get us to max level plus we can get our tail beast to level 1500 and i'm hoping to get with the dungeons that give us enough xp for our blood to be level 1500 too so we're relying a lot on these dungeons to just level us up so much because i think that is the best way to level up if you do want to level up I just recommend doing dungeons as much as possible. If you want to level up your bloodline, your level, or just in general, like your tail beast, just do dungeons. are so much better than anything else you can do. And so we're just going to hit them with this end move here. And yeah, I know what the end move looks like, and it's actually not bad. Okay, this move here, that I seen this shuriken move. Okay, that's really, really nice. And then the V move. Okay, the V move teleports to them, that's really nice. And then just hit them with this Z move here. And the Q spec. Just hit him with here. Is that going to kill him? Let's not even kill him, we don't even have an e-spec, so we're just going to have to hit him with some M1s, and there we go. We killed him, and we're level 800 now, so that should give us a good amount of levels. How much levels, how much XP is that going to get us to? So it gives around 2 million off. Yeah, four, oh, 4 million, yeah, literally 4 million XP just for completing that one green scroll mission. That got us 10 levels. So to be honest, we could do green scroll missions. However, I do want to level up my Gen 1 Tailed Beast. So I am just going to do a bunch of dungeons and I will catch you guys once we're level 1000. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys. So after so much grinding, we finally managed to basically max out our Kurama spec. So we're going to mode up now to our favorite form of the whole entire game in my opinion the cleanest looking form in the game and you know what we might as well do a green score mission with that form and uh let me just do one more thing i'm gonna also unlock these moves here i'm just gonna unlock this 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 and we're gonna use this this and this don't worry we're gonna use the form later on of course when we're fighting sasuke we're gonna be doing i think a best out of three or first two three and we're gonna be using this form we're gonna be using narumaki body mode and everything i just want to really test out this form really quickly before we go and 1v1 our guy so let's just fight just find these guys here and destroy them but yeah i can't wait to just try out because especially body mode it's just all these all the Naruto forms in this game are so so good all right so let's test out our uh, is there a different z spec to this oh yeah there is it's like a kind of like a Ras, like a rasen shuriken kind of buju bomb thing and then we'll try out the b move this is a rasen shuriken and then okay that's clean and then the rasen gun okay also oh it has its own rasen gun which is really really nice okay and so also we can combo okay that's clean that's clean is there a different q spec to this mode here or is it just the same oh it's okay it's a buju bomb thing all right that's not bad and this is a toad spawner just like trample over them and trample over them and then the E there's no E spec all right so that's basically the mode which looks so so clean just the cloak itself looks absolutely amazing and I'm surprised this guy's not dead yet okay there we go they're dead and yeah just like that so now we're gonna go and fight our guy Sasuke and yeah I'll catch you guys once we're there 1v1ing him all right guys so the first round against sasuke we're gonna mode up we're gonna be using our qb mode for the first round and then we're gonna be using the sixth path mode this one here that we've not used yet and then afterwards we're gonna go barrying mode so whenever he is ready ready i'm ready we'll see first round we'll see who's stronger we'll using normal bg bomb okay this guy's using his kid inversion okay we're gonna hit him with this I've used like a, a kind of like a slight mix of the Narumaki 6 buff moves and the Narumaki moves as my move set. Hit him with this here. Boom. There we go. Get him. Oh, he's got. Wait, he got me in a thingy. I thought I got him in a combo. Okay, he's using Shidori. I just used my thingy. And somehow he won. Okay. Th okay, this round is definitely his. There's no way I actually win this. I forgot my thingy elements is actually like really, really good. Hit him with this Rasengan. Q spec, boom, there we go. Okay, him with this Narumaki. Okay, that kind of kind of missed. Alright, that's not good. That's not good, is it? Him with this here. We need to hit him with this. Use my elements, please. Oh, never mind, but he just teleported behind me. Okay, we got him close to us. Oh, he's got us close to him. Okay, at least we got him with this move here. Alright, finally we hit a move. Hit him with this Rasengan here. Alright, this Rasengan is going to do a decent amount. Alright, hit him with that there. Alright, at least we're doing a decent amount now. A decent amount of damage each time. He keeps on hitting me with this combo, man. It's so irritating. Hit him with this my elements. Hit him with this Rasengan. He's using the Shidori Abyss my Rasengan. Hit him with this here. Grab him. Oh, I could even grab him. Fortunate. 
Let him with this hit, please. Okay, there we go. Well, at least we hit that move. That move is like really, really, really strong. And then Q spec. There we go. We didn't have to give him no time to load up his Chidori. And he still somehow got it through. Yo, this yo, Sasuke is overpowered. I hit him with that Narumaki move. It's just hit him with this Rasengan. Oh, he keeps on hitting me with that move, bro. It's so annoying. Rasengan here. Oh, oh, we got straight into his fire move. Straight into his fire move. And I think he, I think I'm dead here. I think it's wraps for me. I think it's wraps. It is probably wraps here. I'm gonna hit him with this here just, just in case. Just in case somehow we Yeah, it definitely is wraps for me. If he gets close to me, I'm dead. Oh, I thought he died there. I thought he died. Okay, his mode. Oh, he did die. Oh my god, I was on like 20,000 HP. Alright, round two commences. Is there a form two to this? Oh, there is, but oh my god, I didn't even know there was a form two that we have to get a drop for it. So, we're gonna go completely ignore form two and we're just gonna go straight into form one. Alright, let's start off with straight up with some Rasin Shurikens. Okay, they track him straight away, which is perfect. Hit him with this. Okay, that also tracks him. And then also hit him with. Oh, okay, he's using Shibakton, so that don't really work. Okay, is there an E spec to this? Oh, there isn't. Okay, this is not good. Oh, there is a Q spec though. The Q spec is crazy. Okay, yeah, the Q spec is amazing. Okay, let's hit him with. Oh, okay, you used me in a. Oh, he put me in this, man. Okay, let me try and dodge that. Okay, okay. oh, no, I didn't even dodge it. He does so much damage. That did so much damage. Try him with this. Trust and sure can should track him. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I didn't hit because he used this counter move there. Gonna squish him up with the toad. Him with the Rasengan. Straight into the Q spec. There we go. And then a few M1s. Okay, that's clean. That's clean. Then hit him with the Rasen Shuriken. Okay, that is clean. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, we need to load up our Chi again. Completely forgot I had some elements. Actually, we need to use some of our element moves way more. Because they do so much damage. This here. Okay, we're getting him in some some dirty, dirty combos, I cannot lie. I think it's my M1s do 2000 damage, which is kind of concerning. Oh, that, oh my god, we killed him. We killed him with 174,000 HP. Okay, that round was a little bit less close than the other one. Alright, last round, we're going to go straight into our Narumaki mode and Baryan mode and as you know Baryan mode is the most powerful form for this guy here and he's going straight in for the kill with that mode relax bro him with the Q right Q spec boom him with this Rasengan V straight in we're not messing around he's also using his, other, his like the his like favorite form okay we're both we've kind of glitched here but it doesn't really matter hit him with all of our moves Bro, I don't even know how my, my move hit there, but well, we'll take it, we'll take it. Hit him with this. Oh my god, okay, 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 we need to hit him with the Rasengan, he's using Shidori. Okay, that's actually clean, hit him with this. Then our M1s, and then get him closer. I think our M1s actually, like, track him a little bit. Okay, he's using his lightning move. Okay, we touched that, thankfully. Alright, E spec. But he's hitting me for some big boy damage, I cannot lie. I don't even know how much damage I've done so far. My end move, there we go. Alright, at least we've guaranteed 120,000 damage there. There we go, him with the e spec. There we go, and oh my god, we whitewashed 3 0 full whitewash against Sasuke 2. And yeah, bro, Bayon mode Naruto is too overpowered, and I guess this definitely proves Naruto stronger than Sasuke.
Alright guys, so now we're moving on to our last and final guy, Boruto Uzumaki and as you can see we've got the two bloodlines, the Borushiki bloodline and then the Buramaki gold bloodline and then for the elements I've decided to do a little bit different from the other two, I've decided to go for Shiver because he did kind of use lightning in like one of the few, like the first few episodes and then also we're going to be using wind and we're going to go straight into the game. Yeah, as you know, Boruto is probably the strongest out of all of these guys, even with like Baryan mode Naruto, I feel like Boruto is still a lot stronger and I accidentally went into Blaze here, we should be going into Ember instead. Alright, so we are in Ember and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get straight into a mission, so can you deliver some groceries for me? Yes, we can. We can't do any green scroll missions right now because we don't have any stats and if we do them, we're just normal, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. So we're just going to do some normal missions to start it off with. First time actually delivering to the ramen stand, okay. That's two, the last one's over there. Alright, and just like that, final one. How many levels is that going to get us to? We should get to like level 30-ish. Oh, got to level 26, that's not bad at all. And I want to actually check when do we unlock these bloodlines. Are they both for level 400? Okay, this one's 450 and is this one 400? Okay, they're both 400, so that's going to take us a long, long time to unlock these. And they're going to cost us 2.5 million each. And then, oh, the elements we can unlock on our level 25, but it's going to be very expensive to actually unlock those two bloodlines and all the moves with them. Um, You know what? Let's try one of the blue star missions. I don't think we're ready yet for a green scroll. Can you find my missing cap? Perfect. The easiest mission we can do. All right. Oh, <laughs> how did I completely miss that parkour thing? All right, there we go. Found the missing cat. How much levels is that going to get us to? Okay, it's barely giving us any XP. I'm only level 37 here, which is not too great. Right, I put some of my stats into our HP and our Taijutsu. So let's try and do a green scroll mission, see how well it does. On my journey, I saw a group of... Okay, Taijutsu versus Taijutsu. Okay, how many of them are there? Four of these guys. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of difficult, but I am ready to absolutely destroy those guys. All right, let's see what they've got in store for me. We're just going to go for one at a time. Okay, we're doing a decent amount. Okay, these guys are all wanted to go for me at the same time. You know what? We're going to go all these guys here. See how much damage we're doing. Okay, we're actually doing a decent amount. Hit with a combo. All right, that's one down. How are Taijutsu students using elements, bro, and, like, moves? Should we only be using, like, hits? Okay, we're just going to hit this guy with a combo. Okay, we're actually doing a decent amount of damage to these guys, and these guys are barely damaging us. All right, that's another one. Destroyed, and last one. Okay, this guy's using lightning style. We're going to hit him with this here. Okay, hit, oh, never mind, just got hit with a Chidori straight through the chest. And he's going to use a combo on us, but we're just going to hit him with this here Q. And then a few M1s and there we go. We've actually completed that. I did not expect it to be that easy, but to be honest, we are Boruto. We should be able to complete these missions with ease. All right, okay. How many levels are that going to get us to? Level 61, not bad, not bad, not bad. How many? Oh, we can actually unlock this element straight off the bat. With these two elements here, we should be able to do a decent amount of damage. However, my chi is literally... I can't even load up my chi, it's taking so long. Alright, let's try out our new moves. This one here, we need 2,000 chi. So why did they allow us to unlock it if we needed so much chi? And how did I just do 6... I did 6 damage per hit. That is actually crazy, oh my god. I did 6 damage per hit with that wind move. I don't know how that's possible. Right, let's try that again, how much damage are we going to do now? I put some of our, my thing into our win in. And yeah, we're doing a still a decent amount, but these guys are still very... Very, very powerful. Right, let me just hit this guy here. Okay, these guys can't hit me, so never mind. They can't hit me, okay. No, I'm 157 HP. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see if we can clutch this up without dying. All right, that's two down. Last one. And there we go. Okay, that took way longer than expected. Uh, we need to definitely unlock one of our modes, especially this one here. This is the one we're going to use to start off. We definitely need to unlock that. We can actually become way more powerful. But yeah, guys, now I'm going to do a little bit of grinding so we are able to unlock this mode. Uh, so we basically just get to level 400 with our bloodline. So I'm just going to do a little bit of grinding and I'll catch you guys once our bloodline's at level 400. All right, guys, so after a bunch of grinding, we managed to get to level 400 with both of our bloodlines but this is the one we're gonna use for this portion of the video so we're gonna equip this and let's mode up see how they let's see how clean this is okay we've got like the karma seal we've got like the momoshiki horn too looks pretty clean and then mode 2 as you know it's level 800 okay and then thing mode 3 is where we need to drop yep okay mode 3 is the drop one which is gonna take us a long long time to get but look at us it actually looks so clean and i think now our main, main goal is to get the drop. But before that, let's actually try out this mode. See how good it is. Just doing missions. So I'm just going to do one mission here. The screen should scroll. A group of Nimbus assassins spotted on the outskirts. Can you please take care of them? Yes, we can. 
I've never actually used the gold version of the Burumaki, I've only used the normal version. They're both basically the same, I think this one just got maybe the moves that are reskinned hopefully, so they're gonna look a lot cooler. Okay, these three of them, is it gonna be a Rasengan move? Okay, it's not going to be a Rasengan move, it's like a Genjutsu move. Q-Spec, that is a Rasengan move, and that's still not killed them yet. E-Spec, okay, there's no E-Spec to this move. And then we can finally use this right, yeah, we can finally use our... Uh, thingy move, our shiver move, and then we just, one M1 should kill him, yes sir, and yeah, this is actually not that bad at all, we can, we can unlock this move if we had enough cash, but we don't have it just yet, however, now we're gonna go and travel to Naramaki Bridge, so we can actually go and obtain the third form boss drop, the only reason I'm doing this so early is because I think it's gonna be a lot easier, as with this level, nobody can hit me, it's so only the boss can deal damage to me, right, so we are at the Boruto place, I just realized, uh, I just paused my recording, but we are back at Boruto, and there's some people fighting him, and it turns out we can actually get hit by these guys, which is really, really, really unfortunate, and does he drop anything, of course he doesn't drop anything, but yeah, okay, I think these guys are gonna try and kill me now, no, please don't kill me, bro, relax, relax, but yeah, Okay, these guys, oh, these guys are trying to kill that, they finished that guy straight away, oh my god. But yeah, we're gonna probably just try and lurk around here and see what happens, because I do really want the Boruto drop, because, you know, of course, we need the third perform Boruto, so, just <laughs> oh, this guy's trying to kill me again, he's trying to hit me, but we're just gonna be chilling here a little bit and see what happens, maybe, maybe if we don't find it in the server as quick as possible, we'll go to a different server and maybe we'll find it there, but I'll see you guys once we eventually basically get the third form boss drop. Alright guys, so as you seen there, we finally managed to get the third form boss drop, so now we're gonna go and travel to, as usual, you know what the deal is, we're gonna go to the main menu and go and do a dungeon, just so we can get some levels up and stuff, we are level 307, which means we are gonna go and do a dungeon, and the dungeons give me like 30 million to 15 to 30 million XP per dungeon, and it gives us good enough levels for our bloodline too, so it's actually a win-win for every single thing, so we're gonna go into a dungeon right now. Alright, so we are in the game, we're in a dungeon, and I'm just gonna mode up real quick, okay, these guys are on 7,000 HP. Oh, they're actually more than 7,000, because I just hit them for 7,000, oh, never mind, they're on 70,000 HP. Yeah, this is gonna be quite difficult for us. They're gonna hit me, okay, we're gonna hit them with the... Okay, the counter attack doesn't even work. Okay, this is, this is troubling. We're having this much trouble against two... Two of these guys only, this is not looking good, okay, we've got, we've got help from these other guys. However, I just realised, I can just upgrade lots of my elements, unlock some of my elements here. We, need, we can nearly unlock every single element, so I'm just gonna put this in T, this in Y, and then we can also unlock some of these ones here, put this in F, G, and this one in H, yep, and we're looking very, very good. We also got a million, so we can basically unlock this move here too, if we wanted to, which we are gonna unlock, because we're gonna unlock every single move, and hit them with the Rasengan, and yeah, that Rasengan does so much damage. That's actually really, really good. And then with this Rasengan too, we've got two Rasengan moves already. So we finally made it to the last and final wave. I did die in wave seven, but now we're going to be fighting our Shindai guy. This is on medium, so of course it was going to be a lot more difficult than normal. So let's... See. Oh, this guy's going for me straight away. Don't go for me, please, straight away. Okay, these guys are very, very low HP too. But I'll just let them fight for the start just so we can heal up. I don't know why every time I own mode, it should, I should be on max HP, but it's just not making me max HP. I think I have to wait a little bit then. Let me try now. Okay, there we go, we're on 186,000 HP. So now we can at least do a little bit of damage to Shindai Akuma. Look how much, look how much HP is being dealt to this guy. Yeah, this guy's getting basically just destroyed right now. Okay, then with this here. These clones are so annoying because they don't even do damage. They just, just cancel out my combo each time. Alright, and this guy is dead. Okay, there we go. And 42 million XP. I just realized because it's two times XP weekend. So we're going to be getting so much XP every time we do this. And look how much XP. We got 30. How much in our bloodline? Okay, our bloodline only got 3 million. But I think our bloodline gets way more once we level 1,000. It's just that's like going so, so high. But yeah, look. We've got so much H XP right now. Oh my god, okay. Well, I think we should be at least level 500 600 from just that one dungeon alone okay we're in ember back in ember and we're still leveling up so so much how much yeah it's gonna get us at least i think 550 is my prediction it's gonna get us to around 550 which is amazing because now we can actually put some of our stats into our hp so we don't die too so quick and then put some of this put some of this put some of this 
and then 200 into this again and yep okay we're ready now i think even if we do a dungeon again we're going to be very very powerful we're actually going to be useful to the guys but look how much 577 and i think now we're going to be going to fight our guy mitsuki we're going to be fighting the mitsuki boss and we're just going to pretend it is mitsuki so i am going to be fighting the mitsuki boss and i'll catch you guys it's there all right your boy is kitted up to fight kabu Cobra. we bought a health potion we've bought everything that we need we've kind of like sorted out our abilities a little bit so now we're gonna go straight in and just hit him with as many moves as possible just to get it off to a good start and yep look how much damage we're already doing to this guy okay look at this boom in with this last gun so much damage already in with this wind move these wind moves are gonna carry us i don't know how that didn't hit but him with this oh okay he spawned in his snake no 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 this is where it gets kind of difficult oh my god and he spawned in he spawned in the walls oh my god this guy is powerful we're absolutely comboing this guy bro mitsuki's got literally nothing on me i'm gonna hit him with this q spec here too okay just a few more m1s okay yeah this guy is really really low i think is the only thing the problem with me is the chi the chi just keeps on thinking running out very very quickly so after i use like a few moves my chi runs out okay he's using his thing at the gates i'm gonna hit him with oh oh no i hate it when he uses the snake hit, oh okay i thought my thingy move kind of missed my wind move kind of missed and we finally finally killed mitsuki okay this guy was very very challenging however let's check let's check if he dropped anything maybe he dropped something just as a reward and of course he does not drop anything but yeah guys now we're probably gonna be doing a time skip arc and you know what happens when boruto got the time skip he literally became so overpowered so i think that's what we're gonna do this time too we're gonna basically try and level up all of our bloodlines and stuff because we need this to be level 1500 we need to also level this up to a decent level too so we are gonna be doing a major a major time skip arc where we just as i said just get as powerful as possible so yeah i'll catch you guys then all right guys so the time skip with boruto is over we've managed to get absolutely overpowered we've managed to basically unlock all of our single moves we managed to get to level 1500 with our bloodline you don't understand how long this one took so that means we can use the third form eventually and we've unlocked these moves here and we're gonna unlock these ones right now and yeah we are we're just overpowered now so now we're gonna fight kawaki to see who's stronger he is struggling to get up there but yeah we're gonna fight him and just destroy him hopefully all right first round we're gonna mode up to our second form we're not gonna go to our third form for the first round and just like the kind of like the, the kind of like the semi momoshiki form and then we're gonna go to the main momoshiki form the second round but we're gonna start off his is kawaki okay we're just gonna hit him with this here I've not actually used this form that much, so I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know how much damage I can actually do with this form. I have to hit him with just all of my moves. Just do so much damage to him before he does any damage to us. Okay, this that he's trying to use that counter move on us. That's not going to work. Stun him with this. Yep, perfect. Hit him with that. There we go. But it's too clean, man. Too clean with it. Oh, yo, he goes with the cube thing, bro, relax. With the sing gun straight away. Don't let him rest. Hit him with this here, this here. Bro, how did we just... We just we just literally just killed him so quick. Oh my god, wow. Okay, that's 1-0 to Boruto, I guess. Alright, okay, second round. We're gonna mold up to our final form this is the form that took me ages to level up let's see how powerful this form really is it has this form got an e-spec okay we're waiting for this guy to mod up has this form got an e-spec it does but it's an counter e-spec okay hit him with this okay so that's single kind of move all right okay let me hit him with that all right okay that's not oh it's two the guns like that okay okay that's not bad oh th these these ones are very very close to the boroshiki m ones hit him with this here that's gun bro spam these moves yeah this is this this is just overpowered yep kawaki could just not do anything against this there's just nothing you could do bro nothing you can do it's just running away you just can't do anything just hit him with this here why is he not why, where is he running bro where is he running is that gonna hit him appear behind him hit him with a quick move oh he's also hitting us okay he's hitting us now 
Get hit with this. Is he gonna use I'm gonna use my counter move, is he gonna hit? Oh he did, but I think it might have been too late. Okay, hit him with these two moves, these two Rasengans. And oh this might be the, the fastest time I've actually like finished the 1v1. It's 2-0 right now, and it could be 3-0. Especially with this form here. Once we use this form, this form is just like on a different level, especially with these moves here too. To be honest, we could use the moves at the same time, but we're not gonna go we're not going to because that's just gonna be very unfair because to be honest in this game, Kawaki does not have a good move set. So we're just gonna keep with these here. Alright, we're getting form up and I think he's ready. He's formed up. Should be ready. There we go. Alright, okay. Hit him with this. This is this form here is just not fair at all. And then okay, look, look, we're already doing so much damage to him. Hit him with this. Rasengan here. Another Rasengan. This form is just not fair at all. It's just not fair, bro. End move. Is he gonna hit me with the thingy? Oh, he didn't hit me. He didn't hit me there. He got lucky. Hit him with this. Okay, we kind of dodged that move. Is he gonna hit? Oh, he's not hitting. Hit me with this. Where's he gone? Okay, he's gone there. Okay, this this the C spec here is so so good because it just does damage so much so much damage and I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. Oh, we killed him. We literally destroyed Kawaki. Just shows the proof that Boruto is so much stronger. And even in the anime, even though they they've not really fought yet, Boruto will win as he is just so much stronger.